many were skeptical when he was selected as the third overall pick in the 1973 draft. I think there were a lot of questions about this little college phenom, but he had uh, an amazing competitiveness and mental toughness uh, and abounding competence. Di Gregorio would immediately silence the doubters. Named Rookie of the Year, he led the league in assists and free throw percentage while leading the Buffalo Braves to their first playoff appearance. He would also dazzle the league with his flair for the spectacular and his uncanny passing. It was like he had eyes in the back of his head. Teams would try to blitz him and he would just wrap it around, throw a behind the back pass so easy. Passing was a gift to him. It was easy for him. And he made everybody, not only me, he made everybody on that team that much better. Ernie's career would be cut short by injuries, but his impact on the league in 1974 as one of the game's most electrifying little men will always be remembered. I'm not sure he could touch the rim. I never saw him do that. But for that year, he was dynamite. 